Today we are back here at the Bursa Teleferic to celebrate my birthday. I'm very excited and uh, today the prices of the tickets have gone a little bit up from the last time I was here. Uh, they are 250 liras each for the normal tickets and the Teleferic, i.e. the cable cars, will be taking us up and I'm looking forward to showing you my adventures today. And this is the Uluja mountain in the winter season. The season that I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for over a year for this day. So come along with me. Okay, last time I showed you guys that you can actually come over here to the snack stand. You can get so many things from here. You've got the strawberry chocolates and you've got all of these different types of desserts that you can take up with you because it's a long journey going up. Now, the 250 liras that we paid for the tickets, that, those, those prices are for foreigners. There's a different price for Turkish citizens. And we'll mention that to you during this video. One thing I wanted to mention was that during the Ottoman times, uh, people that were working in the palace, in the palaces of the sultans, they would often come up to Uludağ mountain. And when it was winter season, they would get the ice and they would take it to Top Kapi Palace, which is in Istanbul. And obviously in those days, there were no refrigerators. So they would use that to keep, you know, the food cool and everything like that. So it's quite a fascinating fact to just share with you guys today. I can see the first signs of snow! Look behind me! Look at that! Now as we get closer and closer, you can see that the snow is thickening up and the anticipation is building, it's building, it's building, it's building, it's building, it's building. It looks marvellous. It looks like one of those... one of those fairy tale stories you see with snow involved in it. And look how steep it is. There's a huge... there's a steep incline that takes us all the way up. Okay, so we're going over here. Uh, this is the entrance part. There's a lot of things to do here. You've got this nice artificial sky above. You've got many shops over here, clothes shops. You can get like winter wear. Uh, you can get food. You can get different types of accessories. It took us about 20 minutes to get up here. 20 minutes, around that much. So excited. Let's just go outside. Let's walk here. Okay, so there's a Et Mangle and Cafe restaurant. You can go upstairs. So it seems like we have to go through here. So as soon as I have to go over here, in order to go a bit more up, where, wow, look at the snow-capped mountains, can you see that? So I'm assuming that, or I'm presuming now, that uh, the skiing will be up there. So let's go over there. And uh, this is the thing we couldn't show you last time. And I was wondering, how do you actually get to the skiing area? So I think um, I figured it out. So let's go over here and let's see um, what happens. Okay, so as you can see over here, we are we are going to the next stop and this one is going to take us to the skiing area. By the way guys, today is my birthday. Happy I'll be so appreciative birthday. if you like this video, if you subscribe to my channel, if you hit the notifications bell icon, and if you comment below happy birthday, of course. I'll be so, so appreciative. And that will be an immensely huge gift. What else can I ask for a gift? So please, please. Give me this birthday gift. Okay, so 
I've made it to the top and uh, it's full of frost and snow and everything like that. There's some hotels behind me, so obviously you can stay over here. There's um, hotels you can stay over here overnight. And now it's up to me to find out where the ski lifts are. The ski lifts seem to be over there. So that means after half an hour of journeying, there's more to go. Oh, uh, that's something you can kind of expect, you know, like a snowball, you know, being thrown at you from different distances, but that's to be too worried about. Okay, so just follow me along. I'm going to show you actually how it kind of looks like over here. Uh, let's see, let's go. Okay, so there's, a, there's some signs over there. Look at that. Oh, my foot went right inside of it. Ah, it's so deep. And then now I forgot my, my uh, waterproof socks. Oh, I've got ice inside of my socks right now. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Anyways, there's these nice drives over here. It looks wonderful. There's many ski lifts over here. There's some going to the left, some going really high up steep, some going a bit on the right, which is a bit low. I think that's down to because there's many, many different levels from beginner, intermediate to advanced levels. So. Okay, so we took a taxi and uh, luckily there was a man who spotted us walking and he was like, where are you guys going? You know, he was, he was kind of speaking Arabic or something like that, but I can kind of make out what he was trying to say. And then uh, he said, um, only about 20 liras, he, he took 20 liras from us and he drove us to this area over here and it's got all of these cafes and it's got like, you know, I sat over here and having this like lovely, you know, hot beverage, it's hot chocolate, bismillah. It's superb, we've got some cake over here as well. Um, and also, for 70 liras, what happens is from here, this is where all the skiing happens. So they've got these uh, cable, they've got these uh, ski lifts that take you up, and then there's the ski path, which we're going to show you eventually. Downstairs, there's a shop where you can get all the gear and everything like that. So it's very important that I feel that when you come from the cable cars, when you come out of the cable cars from the second phase, get a taxi to bring you to this part. Ooh, it's really cold. Got my my ski sticks over here, and. Uh, you have to have your gloves on. I don't have one of them on because I've got the camera on. And the views are absolutely exhilarating. Like, wow, I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to go on a ski lift just to do skiing. I've never done skiing in my life. I've always wanted to do it. Sometimes it's just been very, very expensive. Like you go to places like South of France, Austria, Switzerland, it's gonna be exorbitantly priced. Here, uh, we've paid 700 Turkish Liras to get an instructor because uh, we are beginners. So it's good to get an instructor. And this is a government set price. So we paid them 700 Turkish Liras. You pay that in cash. And then we paid a further uh, 150 Liras each to get um, the gear on. So to get the sticks, to get the, the ski uh, slide, well, look at this, ski boots over here. And also that thing that you kind of attach the boots to. So overall, it's cost us about a thousand Turkish Liras for two people. Um, so if you go on your own and you want an instructor and you're a beginner, it will cost you 450 Turkish Liras. And obviously you'll pay about, I think 75 Liras uh, for the gear and all of that sort of stuff. And then also to come onto the ski lift, we've had to pay 35 Turkish Liras uh, each to just go one way up. And obviously when you're coming down, you don't have to pay for it because it's just coming down. But if you're coming up and you want to go back down, you pay 70 liras each, and that way you can uh, enjoy the views up there. And just look at the views behind me. There's people that are skiing um, below. So I'm kind of wondering that um, <laughs> how much of a beginner pathway this is. So now it's time to train for my gear.
uh, that was the most <laughs> the most exhilarating experience of um, certainly one of the best experiences, the top five experiences of my life. That was just I can't put it into words. It's definitely um, my best ever birthday because I've wanted to do this for I don't know two and a half decades. You know, since ever since I was a kid, but I never had an opportunity. Um, but today I've come over here, and what I'm going to say is I'm going to give a lot of praise to the instructor. The instructor was absolutely incredible. He spent a good few minutes explaining to us how to stop. I'm actually, I'm actually making a movement. Actually, you, can, you can show me. So he says you have to kind of stop making this type of movement, um, lean forwards, bending slightly. Um, he was just so good, so patient. And then I felt that towards the end of it, I kind of got the hang of it and I made one fall and that was because I was kind of confused whether I should go right or left. Okay, so we finally reached um, the ground level and uh, it was a long 30, 35 minute journey. But it was one that was in itself memorable because of the fact that it was dark. And when it was approaching the ground level, uh, we could see the whole city view and lit up in, in, in lights, obviously because it's night sky. Um, you can see from our first video that when we were coming down, it was daytime. So the daylight was there, but to see the city, Borsa city, full of lights, um, isn't it? It's an incredible experience. Do like this video and do subscribe to my channel, Don Imran. And with that said, catch you in the next one.